Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn a very useful PowerPoint animation effect tutorial called Unfolding Road. The beautiful Unfolding Road animation you will learn to create today looks like this. In this specific case, I've ensured that there are milestones all the way through. First, I reveal the first milestone like this. Then the road extends like this to number two, and then it unfolds to number three, unfolds to four. Can you see here? It's a very interesting effect. It's almost impossible to take your eyes off this effect. And this is what you're going to learn in this video. I'm going to show you how to do that for three steps from one to three. And you can extend the same idea for as many milestones as you want. Here I am on a new slide. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From Basic Shapes, let us go to Oval Tool and let us draw a circle. Here I am trying to make the first milestone. Let us have this in a red color. So let us go to Shape Fill and choose Dark Red Color. And Shape Effects Preset and let us use Preset 2. And let us have this as number 1. And let us use a much thicker font like say 2 Sen MT Condensed Extra Bold. Let us really make it thick and big and then let us have text written underneath your text goes here and let us have this folded into two and let us have this centrally aligned increase the size to 20 and place it over here let us have this enter with an animation so we are going to use the first animation to have this enter the scene let us go to animations it is going to enter with a fade animation and right after that we need to have this one wipe down and this is after previous it's a very simple one this fades in and after that this wipes down the next step is to have a road unfold the way the road is going to be represented is with a simple rectangular box like this now the length of this box depends on how far you want to have the road to unfold this one is going to be for a very short distance because I'm only going to show three points. So let us take this one, go to shape outline, say no outline, shape fill and say black. And now we have the first one in place. Let us keep this over here. And this is going to wipe from left. So let us have the animation and say wipe from left. And this happens on a click and let us have this sent to back. So far, we only have three animations. The first one is fade and then this one wipes out. Then on a click, we show the first road unfolding. Then we need to have this extended to the next step. And that is where we are going to create the magic. Let us select this, make a copy while holding the control button. Let us move this to the next place. Now we need to make another copy of this while holding the control button. Let us move this and place this right next to the previous shape. Can you see here? I have kept this right next to the previous one. The only difference is this time for this one, let us go to shape fill and say no fill. This is a ghost shape and this is very important for us to create a false pivot in the middle so that when we apply a spin animation to this group, we would be able to have this spin from left to right seamlessly. Let me show you what I mean by this. First, let us select this and this and let us press control G. So we have a group with a ghost shape here. Let us have another one without the ghost shape. Now let me apply spin animation to both of them and see what happens. This one doesn't have any ghost shape as you can see here. Let us go to animations and if I apply a spin animation, this is how the animation happens. You can see that the pivot is in the center here. Now see how this one spins. I have selected this and let us go to the same spin animation. Can you see this is how it is spinning and that is because of the ghost shape that is added right at the end of it. And this is going to help us unfold the road. Let us delete this and the animation for this is going to be just half spin. So it goes from here to here. That is the unfolding. And we need to have this happen fairly quickly to around 0.5 seconds. Now this first needs to appear and then it needs to spin. So I need to add another animation and the animation that I'm going to have is appear and this needs to happen before and after that it is going to spin. So this is the set. This one appears and then spins. So if this appears and spins, naturally we need to have this moved and kept right on top of the earlier rectangle 
and I need to have this sent to back. Can you see what I have done here? The first set of animations are to reveal these. The next animation is to reveal the first rectangular bar. Right behind this rectangular bar, the group with the ghost shape appears and right after that, that ghost group is going to spin halfway through. So let us have after previous. Now watch how the animation is played. Reveals the milestone. Then wipe appear and spin animation. Did you see it happened so quickly? Wipe ensured that this is released and then this one appeared and then spun around. That is how the road got unfolded. Make sure that there is no gap in between. So you can always select this and move this slightly to the left. So there is no gap whatsoever. So the animation looks really clean like this. Excellent. From here on, it is a fairly simple journey. I'm going to make one more copy of this ghost group by pressing Ctrl D. And let me place this right at the end point of the previous rectangular box. Then let us press Ctrl D again and you can see automatically the next one is placed where it needs to be placed and that is because we have used Ctrl D trick. If you don't know what Ctrl D trick is, please go to our channel and click on Ctrl D trick. I'll also leave a link in the iCard here so you can understand what a Ctrl D trick is. Ctrl D not only creates a duplicate but it also remembers the relative position and that is the reason why when I hit Ctrl D, the copy is placed exactly where I kept the previous copy. Excellent. So far we have laid a really long road. If I just have to go to slideshow and see how this whole thing unfolds, you can see on a click, next one, next one, next one, next one. So it keeps on going. But we can't have the road keep extending like this. We need to have milestones in the middle as well. And how do we know where we need to place the milestones? It's very simple. Wherever you see this number here, this is where you need to keep the milestone, the alternate ones. So I'm going to select this, hold the control button down as I'm going to place this over here. Now that is approximately the place where I need to keep it. And I'm going to have the same thing made and I'm going to place it over here because this is the next place. I'm going to have this one changed into two and this one changed into three. And we need to adjust where they are placed as well. Now we have seen in this series of animation, this is the spin animation that is revealed till here. So we need to have the next milestone appear right after that. And this milestone happens after previous. And this is very important. That is after this road is revealed, this is revealed and then the text is shown. Once this is done, the next bit we are going to have based on a click. Can you see here on a click? the next step appears and then spins and then the next one appears and spins. So it continues to lay two of these blocks. And once that is done, we are going to have the next milestone shown. And naturally this has to happen after previous and the next one happens on a click. So that is how it continues. Now, of course, we have a few extra elements here and you will understand when I go to the slideshow mode. Let me take you through the animations one after another so you can clearly see what is going on. First, we have fade and then wipe. Then on a click, we have wipe and then appear and spin. And this one is revealed right after that, which is fade and wipe down. Then appear, spin, appear, spin, and then fade and then wipe down. So far, wonderful. Now, when I click again, this one is appearing and that is because we unnecessarily have a couple of elements here. So we can select this ghost shape. We don't need it. Now, when I go to the slideshow mode, everything is proper. Fade, wipe, and then wipe, appear, spin, fade, wipe. Appear, spin, appear, spin, fade, wipe. That is it. Now we have shown three stages of a roadmap. Isn't this beautiful? This is the same principle that you use to have a roadmap for as many milestones as you want. This is a very interesting effect and it definitely keeps the audiences glued to your slide. But then there is one thing that I want you to notice. These kind of animations do take time and you can see the number of animation events that are there in this simple template. But then if you are a busy business presenter, you don't have the time to build these kind of slides from scratch. And that is the reason why we created our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. 
This bundle has more than 4020 premium PowerPoint templates with cutting edge custom animation. No matter what situation you can envisage for your business presentation, you will find a relevant template in our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. I will leave a link to this useful product in the description box below the video. You can click on the link, come to this page, find if this is the right product for you. And if you think so, go ahead, make a one-time purchase and use it for a lifetime. Now, I want to show you some example templates taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle where purposeful custom animation has been used to show the same concept of a roadmap or a timeline. The first example template is this animated timeline. On a click, we show the first year and the text, and then we show the next year. You can see that there is a visual connect from one year to the next, and that is what makes this template really interesting. The next example is this one which is an organic way of showing six points along the journey. On a click, we show the first point where we started, and then you can see that the audience's eyes are guided to the next point, and then you reveal the text along with it, and then you go to the next point, the next point, the next point, and see how the movement is so organic. The next example template is this one, where we show journey along timeline like this. You have the first year shown, and see how this bit moves to the next year and then the corresponding title is shown and the details are revealed and then we go to the next year and the details are revealed and this one goes down and that is a very interesting effect as well. So that is how we show four steps in a journey along timeline. The next example is eight events along a timeline. This one is a bit exciting. On a click you can see that this is how we reveal our eight points and then we talk about each of the points on a click like this. And there's another very interesting way in which you can show a timeline, especially when you want to create videos. The last example is this one, where we show key milestones in a very metaphorical way. For example, if I want to talk about how our company has evolved, first you show that this is how it started up and then it grew to the next stage where we got break even. The next one is business expansion and the next one is business diversification. See how these are angled quite nicely and even the text is angled along with it. You can of course replace any of this text with your own text and you'll be able to use them in your slides very easily. So if you really want to make slides that impress your audience, I highly recommend you check out our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle by clicking on the link in the description box below the video. By the way, did you like our unfolding road animation effect in PowerPoint? If you did, then please encourage us by giving this video a thumbs up and by sharing it with your friends. And if you don't know already, we publish seven videos per week in total. Two PowerPoint videos, one on Monday, the other on Thursday. And on each weekday, we publish an Excel video as well. So if you want to excel in Excel and PowerPoint, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified about our new videos, please hit the bell icon so that you can get the notification immediately. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.